All right, guys, there's a ton to go over in this video, but let's go ahead and get you going with Battle.net on your Steam Deck. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and get your install. So use your favorite browser, and we want to go get that Windows version of Battle.net downloaded, ready to install. So we'll go over here to the website. We'll download the Windows version, and that'll get us what we need to get moving here. And then we'll, of course, install this through Steam with the Proton compatibility layer once we get things downloaded. We're going to talk a lot more about the Proton compatibility layers, how to install and download different versions of those, along with adding media to Steam and keeping things neat and clean, and how to use your external SD card as storage. Um, so hang with me in the video. There's a lot to go over. But once you have that download ready to go, we're going to go ahead and into Steam here into our library and get ready to install Battle.net. So go to add a game, and then we're going to go to add a non-Steam game. We're going to go over here to browse, and then we're going to go into... Um, our home deck and download. So I'll click home and deck here. We'll go down to downloads. And you're gonna to wanna to make sure your file type is always to all files so everything shows up for you. We'll find our battle.net installer. Here we go, we'll click open and then we'll click add selected programs. And then you'll see that pop up over here on the left hand side. Now before we can run that, we need to go ahead and add the compatibility layer. So click the little settings icon, go to properties, go over to compatibility here and then click force compatibility. I'm gonna use my GE Proton 20 here. Um, the 702 is the official Steam OS one, and then there's experimental. You could use experimental, you could use the Proton GE version like I have, or the official. Either one should work for your install. You might use, need to use different versions when it comes to running games the best that you can. Now that we have that done with the compatibility layer, we can click play and it will take you into the battle.net install just as it would look like on Windows. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of speed through this and get logged in, but you would just go through your normal install process and get logged in here, which is what I've done here and everything's running just fine. But I'm gonna exit for now because we need to add that launcher now to Steam just like we did the install. So I'm gonna go in here and stop this from running. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove the setup.exe because I don't need it anymore. So I'll right click here. I'm going to remove this non-Steam game or program, and now we're ready to add our actual launcher. So same process, but different place. So add a game, uh, add a non-Steam game, go to Browse. Now we're going to go to Home, and then Deck, and then to Local, Share. Again, make sure all files is on or not all these things will show up. After Share, we're going to go to Steam, Steam Apps. And then find a file called compat data. You go in there and the long number of files are Windows or non-Steam programs you've installed. So these are all of mine. The short numbers are Steam programs. So you're gonna wanna find the one that has your Battle.net installer or whatever you're installing. I know mine because of the date here, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. We're gonna go to PFX folder. We're gonna go to Drive C. Then to program files x86 for me here battle.net and then you'll see our .exe launcher file here so we're just going to highlight that and click open and add selected programs and there we go we've got our launcher ready to go but we do need to add that compatibility layer again so to the settings icon to properties to compatibility and then force compatibility right here so we can run that launcher and run the games inside of it. Now we are gonna use the SD card here. If you weren't gonna store on SD and just use internal, you wouldn't need to do this option. But if you wanna be able to save games to your SD card, uh, you're gonna wanna add a little launch file uh, path here. So I'm gonna copy this from my Epic Game Store because I already have it added here. And you can do the same if you're adding different launchers, it's all the same process. Um, and I can just take this with me over to battle.net and I'll show you how to get this information as well but I'm just letting you see the process here so I'll go over here paste this in and then I'll show you where to get that information it's really handy I do like to install most of these games on my SD card and save uh, my internal storage but that'll allow us to access that card and run games from it now if you go down here and launch dolphin which is your file manager you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see your external devices and primary. That's my SD card. And you can see the other files I have set up for Origin and Ubisoft and Epic. Um, and so I know this is what I'm looking for. Now, if you go up here and click on where it says primary, it's going to bring up the path of your SD card. So it's important you're going to want to highlight that and copy it. Make sure you don't miss anything there. And then we're going to use that over in Steam. But before we go there, let me put my folder here real quick. Create new folder. Uh, I like to keep things neat and clean. I'll go ahead and do Battle.net uh, games here because we are going to install Overwatch and take a look at that. Make sure everything's working. So there we go. Now let's take this copied path 
go back over here into settings properties again scroll down to your launch options and here you have steam underscore compat underscore mount equals and then paste that in and then space percent command percent you can see everything right there and you should be good to go all right with that done we're going to go ahead and install overwatch uh, launch the uh, launcher here install get that moving and then we'll change our file path from our main internal storage over to our sd card so change folder my computer and i'll look for the one that has the files i know are on my sd card since the labels in here aren't really clear um, so i'll click on e e for me is definitely my sd card mm -hmm. my battle net games new folder i just made we can use and then we'll click open and we can install to the sd card now while that's installing i want to show you guys how to add the different pictures to steam so that in desktop mode and over in your game mode normal steam os mode um, you'll see the proper icons here like my other launchers so right click on this manage and you're going to set up or um, yeah set custom background you'll need to download banners and icons and things like that there's info on google on what sizes you would need um, but i just want to show you how to add these i've already downloaded my battle.net stuff off of google really quickly I'm going to add these in right here, and then there you go. I've got my battle.net. There's three places, library right here in recents, then over in the actual game tab. So right here in the banner area, right click, set custom background. I'm going to put the same banner in that I put uh, in my library recent area here out of my downloads folder. You can also change the name here. I'll change mine to battle.net later, but um, you can just change it right there uh, next to your shortcut. But anyways, you click left click on your little icon right here. I'll go pick out the picture I got for my logo out of my downloads folder we'll click that and we'll put that in there so that's pretty much in general the three places you need to add your media for it to show up properly if anything gives you an issue you might need to resize or download some different sizes uh, to get them to show up properly but little trial and error you'll get those uh, little media icons looking nice and clean in your steam deck so before we go over into normal game mode and launch Overwatch and show you that working, if you want to get those other Proton compatibility layers, which are great for Windows games, go to Discover and search for Proton up dash QT. You're going to want to install this if you haven't already, and then you're going to run that and download your other versions of Proton, which will automatically show up in Steam for you. So I'll launch Proton up here, and I'll show you how that works. You can see I already have my Proton 20 installed, but what you would want to do is go down to Add Version, same thing if you want to upgrade and install a newer version that gets released. Same process. Proton GE here in the drop down menu. And then we'll pick our newest version of 20. This is how you get the different versions. These are better for running the Windows games. And this will uh, work well for you in Steam. So you would click that. You would click install down here instead of cancel. It would automatically add it to Steam. And you could pick that in the uh, properties, the compatibility tab you've seen here in this video uh, to run the Windows games and launchers. All right, now we're over here on the regular mode for our Steam Deck. We've got all that set up done. You can see my media showing up here for battle.net. We're going to go ahead and launch that, but I don't want to waste your time. It doesn't take very long, but I'm going to get us just right into Overwatch. The performance of the game was actually pretty good. Now, I haven't played this game in a couple of years, and I was pretty much only a mouse and keyboard player with this game. Uh, but I was happy to see that even though I'm running low settings, 800p here, it looks great on the small screen. Everything's nice and responsive. And for the most part, it tries to hold 60 FPS, which I'll take it uh, on this small handheld. So I didn't really have any complaints here. Even just trying to do some Overwatch. So it was exciting to get this going. Pretty much the same process for all the launchers. However, I will be uh, making a video, or there's one already out, depending on when you're watching this, that will show the Ubisoft, Origin, and Epic launchers uh, being installed and running as well, just like the Battle.net launcher here. So keep an eye out for that if it's not already out, guys. Thanks a lot for coming and check out the video, as always. I really appreciate it. Hope this helps you out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.